Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're back in Siena, Italy, a wonderful town. You can see the Duomo in the middle there and St. Catherine's Cathedral in the background. Uh, many of you have asked me to leave the drawing part in, so I'll, I'll speed through it and uh, so you don't fall asleep. And, and I'll just let you watch that. If you'd like to uh, go ahead to the painting section, just move right on ahead past this and you'll see the painting section. Don't try to reproduce the photo here, you know, we're just doing that. Uh, top section is, is important, but so is the bottom, and you're just looking to do the rooftops. Don't get hung up in all the detail, okay? Just do the big shapes, look for the big shapes. All right, so here we go into the painting section. Uh, that's a little uh, phthalo blue, Windsor blue, and a lot of water. I'm just throwing a lot of water with just a pinch of rose in it, moving it around. You know, if you want to create some clouds, just take a tissue and lift out the clouds, and you'll have some fun there. All right, the Domo itself, is it's a creamy color. There's a little bit of raw sienna in it, and I mixed it with the cobalt blue. Uh, to get it to gray it down a little bit, but it is a warm a warm color. So uh, I just just paint that whole whole dormo section dormo dormo, and then we have a, a, a dome on a building here. I'm not sure what it is, but little violet color uh, cobalt blue with just a pinch of rose in it will give you a nice violet to do that roof little sections there. Right, going back, the, the, the peak, the uh, cupola there on the Dormo is, is uh, raw sienna. So I'm just putting the raw sienna. Then it has some pilings that we'll, we'll pick out later on. So just a gray blue, same thing, cobalt blue with some uh, raw sienna in the background. Just creating a sense of steeples and a nice shape for the uh, cathedral. All right, in the front here, we're gonna put these, that whole village, make it nice and simple. So you're gonna take some raw sienna and cover the whole bottom section, then drop some rose on there to warm it up a little bit. And just let it come down. Let the paint do the work for you here. See how beautiful that looks when the paint is working itself. The paint is mixing itself, doing a beautiful job, more than you could ever do. All right, then on the top here, it's, it's cool. I'm, I'm taking some cobalt blue and bringing that right down over that nice warm color that we had. Give it a chance to, to run down. Let it run itself. You know, look how beautiful those mixes are. You can't do those. Um, you know, you can't get that yourself. You, the, you'll never have a more beautiful painting when you let the paint do the painting. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you can see that. You can't get those colors, you know? All right, let it dry. If you want to, take a pencil. If it, it'll help you, just sketch out a few, you know, the rooftops that are in the section below can see them here, but don't try to reproduce the photo. You know, don't get, you get caught up in all that detail. You don't need to do that. You know, keep it nice and simple. Just give yourself some lines to follow. Stagger the rooftops coming down. You know, don't have one always in front of the other. Mix different shapes, one bigger than the other. And then take some raw sienna, a little bit of rose, maybe even a little cobalt blue in there. Uh, and you're painting, what you're painting here are the sides of the building. So you're, you're sort of negative painting around the rooftops here. Okay, it's really a lot of fun. 
And it's great exercise for you. Paint in those shapes. And once it's wet, you know, you can drop paint in there and, you know, more color if you want. And, you know, but move, you can move this right along. I'm going to let you watch the whole thing, but, you know, just, just take your time, like I say, and enjoy it. Just painting around those rooftops. Make sure you change the shape. Some big ones, some small ones, some diagonals. You know, some of them are, are uh, like hip roofs. So a little bit of variety up there. As you can see, I'm dropping some cobalt blue in there. While it's wet, it'll run nicely all over the whole the whole painting. Okay, little see that dorm, a little different rooftop there. That that's kind of a hip roof there. The slanted. All right, bring it right down. And as you come down to the front, you want to make the buildings, you know, a little larger because they're in the front. That give us some distance. See how we're dropping some paint in there, and the paint will dissolve. The paint will just move all through that wet beautiful path that you made, you know. It'll give you a nice variety of values and shapes. And it's, it's just wonderful. Have a good time with that, you know. Don't get anxious. People get so anxious about it. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> but you can see it developing here. You know, the village is coming. Just work your way down to the bottom. Give it a little spray if you want to. And then take a darker color. This is uh, just the raw sienna with some cobalt blue in it. Uh, make it darker and then draw, just draw a line under the eaves of those buildings you made and let it run down. You see, it's a shadow under the, under the eave. You know, beautiful, just nice and easy. Let it run down. You're not going to make any mistakes here. This is just so much fun. All right, you're creating a whole village here. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, and then when that dries, or when it's damp at least, drop some windows in. Just take that same dark color, you know, add a little more blue to it if you want to make them darker. And just pop in all these windows. There's, there's a hundred windows there. Take your time. Make different windows, you know, make some wider than others and taller, put some on the side of the buildings. Imagine creating that whole village in a couple of minutes. Nice and simple. All right, I'm going to go back up. That's dry now, so I'm just going to put, paint the dark shape in between those columns that are up there holding up that cupola. Okay. All right, there's a little, there's some detail on the dormo, and they're basically a dark blue line. So if you take, you know, you could take some cobalt blue and add a pinch of, of uh, quinacridone sienna to it to gray it down or even a touch of cad red, and just put, put in all those stripes. You know, take your time with it. And there's a bunch of detail on these buildings. I'll go through it with you, but, you know, just, you know, stop and go with the video if you want to, and just, you know, just add it in there. All right, there's some, there's some windows there, uh, I don't know what they are, but all along that line is a decoration. And then there, there are some windows here on the side. All, all, around, all along the front there. Okay. All right, and then the caps off with a little, little raw sienna. 
going back up there to, to strengthen the shadow on the door when it dried so light. So this is just the cobalt blue with a little rose in it to make it a little violet. That's a, some kind of a tin roof or something up there. All right, nice, nice shadow. And it has some um, supports here that are that are on the side of this building. There's, they're huge and they're, you know, they're very strong. There's, there's three on each side of that uh, uh, dome, the center of the building. So there's three on the left and three on the right. And they're, they're very simple. You're just painting one side of the shadow there and then a, a little bit of color in between them if you need that. All right, so you can see this is, it's very easy if you make it easy. Don't, don't make it hard on yourself. Don't work too hard. Don't be afraid to let it go, you know? All right, what I'm doing here is I thought the village was a little too bright, so I took a, a wash of cobalt blue. This is a very light wash of cobalt blue, and I'm gonna run it all over. It's all dry, so it won't run your windows, and I'm just gonna run it over the whole section here not the sh leave the roofs you know the roofs will be nice and bright okay and that brings it down you can see it brings the value down so we're now focused more on the dome and the dormo and the sky okay it's more up there and that's what the painting's about all right okay thanks so much this is the finished painting thank you for watching i appreciate it very much and i will see you again very soon